The following are the confessions of a proud member of the human race, the only race that boasts of members from Africa, America, Asia, Australia, Europe, the Caribbean, Middle East, and the Pacific Islands. Universal Brotherhood of Man is our agenda. We cement the fractured world and build bridges among cultures. We do not care about people's colors, but about their characters. We are not about religions, but about the good that people do with their faith. We don't worry about nationalities, but we care about humanity. Class has no place in our race, but charity does. We don't bother about bank accounts, but we care about accountability. I am a Christian. I have Muslim friends, and we respect one another. I'm part of a race where Kabbalah practitioners, Shinto enthusiasts, Baha'i devotees, Sikhs, Scientologists, Taoists, Zoroastrians, and Unitarians agree that people deserve compassion from people. My race wants harmony between all of mankind. It requires all men, women, and children to tolerate and treat one another with respect. People is our creed and tolerance is our agenda. The world is our constituency as we hate limiting our horizons. The human race is the only racial union where people don't get into trouble with the court of public opinion. If you must be a racist, join the human race. Lose nothing but prejudice. Hate hatred if you must hate. Discriminate against discrimination if you have to discriminate. Be prejudiced against prejudice if you are prejudiced. And direct your entire stereotyping against stereotypes if you choose to type cast. Then you may hate all you want, discriminate as you like, be prejudiced as you wish, and stereotype at your pleasure. The world will be beautiful if whites confront whites about prejudice and people of color challenge vindictive folks among them. The earth will be a wonderful place if real Christians hold the stereotypes among them and authentic Muslims speak up against those who kill in the name of God. The world will lose its spirit, body, and soul to evil if fine men, women, and children keep mute when it matters. In the cause of human history, uh, there have been three categories of men and women. Those who were against evil and did something about it. Those who were against evil but did nothing about it. And those who embraced evil and advanced its cause. Where do you stand? Together, we can create mutual respect amongst races, faiths, cultures, and groups. Unfortunately, intolerance is the harsh reality of our time. Many accept bigotry as the norm. Ignoring prejudice is certainly not a shrewd option. It amounts to bequeathing a bitterly divided world to our offspring. It is the responsibility of every compassionate person to start building bridges and smoothing sharp edges between cultures and groups. The conscientious among us owe posterity the debt of remaking the world. We could only shirk this obligation to the peril of our children and the generations after them. By the way, Dili Ajaja is my name. I wrote the first letter from a black man to the KKK requesting that we tear down the iron curtains that separate us so our children could live together happily ever thereafter. Thank you for listening to the confession of a devoted member of the human race. God bless the human race.